Amen. They like extended members. He was at the prayer breakfast today. And he's at church tonight. Now where's some awful? Everybody ain't working. Do you not know? People, listen, listen to what I'm saying. I'm in an evangelistic mode tonight. See, we have to understand the way the world do. When people have a business, a store, whatever like that, they can't just lay up at the house. If they plan on making a profit, they got to get down there. I don't care what happened at the house. They got to get down there and open the store, cut the lights on, and get everything going if they plan on making a profit. If you're on a restaurant, and I'm doing you are the proprietor, you got to get down there and get everything ready. And it's not about how you feel, because you don't make dollars being sick. Amen. You can make dollars being sick. <laughs> but you got to have a mind to move. Amen. And do you all not know God is watching us? Isn't there something how the world show us up? The world don't get tired of doing nothing. Can I say that one more time? The world don't get tired of what they do. You ain't never heard nobody say, well, you know what? Man, they open the club too much. I ain't, I ain't never heard nobody say, man, I be glad they ought to at least close the club one night a week. But then when you have church on Saturday night, folks say, well, are we going to be at church in the morning and tomorrow night? And you say you love God. Come on, right? Well. Okay, well, I'm tired. We're all tired. But who you been working for? You might not believe this. Sometimes the Lord will put things in your way just to see how you're going to respond. Sometimes your blessing is being held up on your action. Amen. That's all right. Somebody said, well, Pastor, you just, you just don't know well. I know God. And I know anything that's worth having is worth fighting for. Amen. And anything that's worth having is worth fighting to keep it. Amen. You don't just roll over and just give up. I'm looking at these young men here. And how they were at the prayer breakfast this morning. But where are their examples? Amen. You can love me or like me, I don't care. Where are their examples? They don't need anybody trying to tell them how to catch a football and how to run a route, how to shoot a basketball and how to dribble. They need somebody to put some discipline in them on how to be men. We got enough freaks out there playing ball. But we don't have a lot of men. And these kids didn't ask to be birthed into the world. That's your problem. And it's your job to be the, you know, people now, they want the school and the church to raise their kids. So they can run the street and live like dogs and act like fools. And then when the kids get in trouble and stuff happen, they went, wonder where that came from. You? Monkey see, monkey do. Amen. And when you bring your children up in the fear, I'm so proud of these young men. When you bring them up in the fear and the admonition of the Lord, it's something about putting God in them at an early age. It's something about when these kids, you know, somebody say, well, they're talking about the Lord is the head of my life. They don't know what they're talking about. Let them say it. It's better moonwalking and trying to act like Michael Jackson or trying to rap. Where are the examples? I ain't talking about examples in the world. I'm talking about examples in the church. Y'all know his folks in the church don't do nothing. Amen, senior fans. Somebody said, well, pastor, you know, we don't have musicians. I remember when church didn't have musicians. Church of Christ, they got some bad harmony. You put some music with that harmony they got, boy, they, they woo. But you know, that back in the day, back in the day, folks had church. All they had was their tambourines. Saints used to bring tambourines to church. I wish half some of y'all just sort of lick your lips before they get ashy. You know, you know, they used to bring tambourines to church. They would come to church in the day, but if they didn't have nothing else but a tambourine. Then sometimes folks had spoon, playing a, a rub board, a handsaw, and all this kind of stuff. They made their own music. And they gave God praise, and they blessed the Lord and had a good time. But now we got to have a whole orchestra. And then we got folks in the church can't function if they don't have everything that they got to have. You a sorry piece of junk if you got to have everything perfect in order to perform. Come on, Lord. Yes. 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 Yes.
some people if they don't have it all they don't want to do and it's not sometimes that they don't do but when they do the do they do a half a do they don't give it their all don't you know folks see you folk watching you and when you got to have everything right just to do it I cooked the other day and Sister Rod said baby you still got it tell them down there down in Atlanta I don't have an oven down in Atlanta, I got a two-eyed hot plate. I got a crock pot. But I don't cry about nothing. I make it happen. Well, hey, man, when I came home the other day, I, I, I cooked and, you know, I had everything there at my disposal. If you can cook with it, then you should be able to improvise and do without it. But we got folk tonight that's not in church for the very fact they too sorry or they got too much stuff ahead of God. Let me, let me, let me just give you, a, let me give you a little secret. You might not believe it. You can take this to the bank. You're going to play your hand. You're going to play your hand. I promise you. Just like Naaman did. You're going to play your hand. Just like Ananias and Sapphira did. You're going to play your hand. You may play the junk. You may think you slick, think you getting by. But you're going to play your hand. And I promise you, when you play it, I'm going to call it. Amen. This is the truth saying. You've got to, if, if you want something from God, it's going to cost you. And we got to get out of this laid back attitude. Come to church, all just sort of just laid back like we had a, we had a theater. Yes, yes. You know what tonight, I'm on the radio. I'm on the radio. Brother, I'm on the radio. So I don't need nobody to say nothing. I'm on the radio tonight. So, you know, this is what I like about God. When you get to a mode where you ain't got to have nobody to say amen, when you have to worry about folks, say you just come out. Because I, I was begging God. I said, Lord, give me something to say tonight. And believe he gave me something to say tonight. But I want you to understand something. Somewhere down the line, you got to get tired of junk. Amen. I don't know about y'all. I, I don't like being broke. I don't like not having money. Somebody said, well, pass them the love of money. I said, the love of money, not money, the love of money. You got to have money to survive. Hello, go up there and get a tank of gas and holler glory, and then get ready to drive off. They gonna, you're going to be a loose steric. They're going to have you down the road with the canine crew with your hands on the car, telling you you have the right to remain silent. Well, amen. Somewhere down the line, you get tired of the children not being saved. Somewhere down the line, you get tired of honey not being saved. Amen. Somebody said, well, Pastor, I can't save him. You might not be able to save him, but you can put a heat in the house where something don't change. Yeah. Ain't getting no help about the effects of further prayer of a righteous man, woman, too. Avail it much. When you seek God in prayer, prayer changes things. Yeah. And see, the thing about it is, we crying to God about the man. We crying to God about the woman. Why don't you seek God? Turn that plate down. Let him see you praying. Let him hear you praying. Let him get down beside the bed. Let him be bawling out God. God save him. God deliver him. God change his mind. Change his heart. Then speak in tongue while you're down there. That was Jesus. Lay there all night. He over there trying to sleep. And he hear you. Over there bombarding heaven. Doze off and wake back up. Every time I, I'm not eating today. What you mean? I'm, I told God I'm going to fast all this month. I want you saved. Well, I want you. Well, what if he get mad and leave? What, uh, God, what you fasting for? If, if God can pull the Hebrew boys out of the fire, he can't save your husband? Oh, you yeah, will Esther had, to do, Esther had a job. She told Mordecai, tell the Jews, y'all fast with me. Because I'm going to see the king. Busted up in there, didn't even say nothing, just walked in there. And listen, people, we miss our blessing just by not being where we should be in God. All right. Folks about, well, I don't know if I'm going to get your job. What do you mean you don't know if you don't get a job? The Bible says if a man don't work, neither shall he eat. So you supposed to work. Oh, God, let me, let me, let me give y'all my subject tonight before I get off into this too far. 
because I'm happy about what I feel. Mm. Can I be happy about what I feel? Maybe ain't nobody else. I'm happy about what I feel. Because I'm living in expectation. I'm living in anticipation. I'm believing God. Y'all just don't know. I'm, I'm believing God. My, my subject tonight is. I'm going to give it to you before I get into the scripture. My subject tonight is. Calling it before it happens. That's what God told me to see. Say calling it before it happens. Can you call it before it happens? Woo God. I'm going to call it before it happens. My, 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 my. That's, that's somebody said, well, Pastor, what do you mean by that? That's like that little young man, what is his name, Steph Curry, when he shoot the ball and then he turn his back and go back down the court. Yes. And haven't even made it to the rim yet. Yes. Now that's a confidence. Amen. Because if he missed too many, them folk going to say, you know what, you're a stone fool. And the coach going to call him up and talk to him and say, listen, son, you need to watch, you need to watch the rim before you turn your back. But when you feel it that good, and Brother Joe, you can let it go, and then turn your back. Go on back down the court. Yes. Then throw your hand up. <laughs> when we gonna get to the place in God when we can call it before it happened? Yes. Ah, nah, nah, nah. I'm getting my house. Why I'm calling it before it happened? I'm getting my car, but I'm calling it before it happened. I'm getting my job because I'm calling it. Before it, I've already talked to God. I've made life and death is in the power of the tongue. I've already put my proclamation out there. I told God what it is, and now I'm waiting on it to happen. And I'm not talking about six weeks from now. I'm not only calling it before it happened, but I'm calling the time. The men of God said, This time, tomorrow. About this time, tomorrow. I don't see nothing. But I'm calling. Woo! I don't see nothing. But I'm calling it. Mm, mm, mm. I don't feel nothing. But I'm calling it. Can anybody help me? I'm calling it before it happens. I'm calling my deliverance. Before I even get delivered. I haven't even got delivered yet, but I'm calling it. <sighs> Don't see no signs of it, but I'm calling it. Let the sick, what? Let the weak say that I'm strong. Let the sick say that I'm here. Somebody said, well, Pastor, you're just blowing smoke. No, I'm, call, I'm, I'm saying it by faith. I'm saying it with a confidence. I'm saying it because I believe it. I'm saying it because God said, command ye me. I'm saying it because the Lord said, prove me and see if I won't open the windows of heaven. And God said, I dare you to try me. The Lord said in the saints of God, I dare you to try me. Prove me and see won't I do it. Do what I told you and see won't I step on the scene. Well, we got too many, but where? What if it do? What, what if it do? I'm calling mine before it happens. Give me Hebrews. 11 and 30. Hebrews. Boy, 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 boy. 11 and 30. Man, my, my, my. Mm, mm, mm. <coughs> Hebrews 11 and 30. Read what the Bible says. By faith, mm -hmm. the walls of Jericho fell down. By faith. The walls of Jericho fell down. Read the Bible. After they were compassed about seven days, mm -hmm. by faith the harlot Rahab. Did y'all hear what the Bible say? By faith the harlot Rahab. Perished not with them that believed not. She perished not with them that believed not. When she had received the spies with peace. Oh God. My, 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 my. Can I just get this little message out tonight? Calling it. I'm going to make a call. I'm calling it. And look who God used. Somebody. See, so often we think a person's got to be saved to have faith. All faith is, is believing God. Can I show y'all something in the scripture what the Lord told? If you go to the 6th chapter of Joshua, verse 6 chapter, verse 12, let's start uh, verse 1 and 2. I want to show you something. I want to I show y'all something. Joshua 6 and 1, 
verses 1 and 2. I want to show you something very interesting. Read what the book says. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because, you know why? They were afraid of the children of Israel. Now you want to really know why they were afraid of the children of Israel? Go over to the second chapter and the ninth verse. Uh, I'll give you time. And she said unto the men. But she said unto the men. I know that the Lord hath given you the land. Listen here. <laughs> oh God. We talking about Rahab a whore a harlot. And she said I know the Lord. I know the Lord has given you the land. And that your terror is falling upon us. Listen.